In this video, we will talk about the position vector and the displacement in one dimension. The position vector of a particle found at instant t at point m on the x-axis is given by the vector joining the origin O of the axis to the position m of the particle at that instant and is given by the equation r equals vector om equals xi where x is the abscissa of m and i is the unit vector in the direction of the x-axis. The displacement of a particle between two positions mi and mf is given by vector mi mf where mi is the initial position and mf is the final position of the particle. On the figure, we can see the positions mi and mf and the displacement mi mf. Mathematically, we can write mi mf equals mi o plus o mf. mi o can be replaced by minus o mi, while o mf stays the same. By writing vectors o mi and o mf in terms of the corresponding abscesses, and the unit vector i, we get xf minus xi into i, which is equal to delta xi, where delta x equals the final abscissa minus the initial abscissa, and means the change in abscissa, which corresponds to the change in position of the particle. Therefore, the displacement is defined to be the change in position and can also be written in one dimension as delta x. Example, a point mass object P is thrown vertically up into the air and moves on the x-axis OI from point A to point B, then moves back to point C, knowing that the abscesses XA equals 2 meters, XB equals 4 meters, and XC equals negative 3 meters. 1. Write in terms of i the position vector of p corresponding to its position at a. 2. Calculate between a and c the displacement of p and the distance that it traveled. To answer question 1, we write position vector oa equals xai and we replace xa by 2. For the displacement in question 2, we write delta x equals xf minus xi, which means xc minus xa, since point c corresponds to the final position and point a corresponds to the initial position. We replace these abscesses by their values and get negative 5 meters. This means that as a result, the object moved 5 meters in the negative direction from its original position. To calculate the distance traveled, we should divide the movement into several phases, each phase corresponding to a movement in a single direction. Thus, in our case, the distance traveled by the object between A and C is equal to that traveled between A and B plus that traveled between B and C. Note that in a unidirectional movement, the distance traveled between two points is the absolute value of the difference between the abscesses of these points. Therefore, DAB equals absolute value of XB minus XA, and DBC equals absolute value of XC minus XB. By replacing the abscesses by their values, we get 9 meters. This means that the length of the whole path traveled by P is 9 meters. And this is all for this video. Thank you for watching.